Okay, we're back again now, and in this movie, we're going to look at the reference line. Okay, the reference line, it controls angles. It's not exactly like a reference plane because the reference planes are infinite. Reference lines are more 1D and a control rotation. So, uh, we're going to get started here, and I want you to pay very careful attention to how we align and lock these things down. So the first thing I want to do here, I want to go into the Create tab and select Reference Line. And then what I want to do, I want to go into the center. And I just want to create a long line arc or length or angle, which is 45 degrees. And then we'll see our, our what we call our, um, this dimension here. The dimension is a listening dimension, so it gives me the ability to type in the actual dimension. So that if I say 6, it will go to 6. Okay, now we have that done, and you notice the form the reference line takes. So that's always the first step. You want to go to the intersection of the model or the reference planes and then create a known angle. Okay, so from this point, we'll select this angle and notice its form, the way it looks. But if I tick it, you'll see that it has these lines and the length and everything here. So now what we'll do is uh, I'm going to go and I need to align this reference line to the center point. So the first thing we want to do here, <clears throat> we want to take the align command and hit align here and go to the end of the line. You see that dot? We'll zoom in here, this dot. We want to tick that dot and lock it. And then we want to go to the other line, the line reference line plane, and, and another dot here, we tick that. So now we have our known our, our reference line lock. So what I'm going to show you now, just take an example of this. I'm going to go VV. I want to show you some more uh, annotations. See, I want to show these sketch dimensions. It's going to give us a good reference of what's really happening here. So as you see our sketch dimensions, we have uh, these dimensions placed here based on our <clears throat> lengths from the reference planes, okay? Now, so what we want to do now is we want to add, we want to give a, um, let's just go in here and give this an angle. Uh, let's say, we go to our types category, I mean, our family types. Okay, now we, what we want to do here, we want to give this guy uh, a parameter here. So we'll cancel this, and we'll go create, annotate, sorry, and we'll go to angular, and so we'll give this an angle from here to here. We'll select that. Okay, and we'll give this a label. We'll label this. It's a new label. Let's call this, uh, let's just call it angle. <coughs> we'll make it an instance. And we'll click OK. So now there's our angle parameter. Jumped over there, but it's okay. 
And we'll flex this a few times to make sure it works. And I want you to see what happens here. Let's say 60 degrees. I'm going to just pull this guy up. Oh, oops, sorry. I'm going to just pull this dimension over here. It won't let me. It's making the angle from here. So. And then I tell you, let's do this as well. Let's go in here and select the double dimension lines and give this a, 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 also a label. We'll call this label L for length. Make this also an instance and hit OK. So now let's change this length. Let's change the length to, let's say, 8. OK. Now let's change this angle. Give this angle, let's make this zero. Okay, let's make it 45. So this is our reference. This is how you create and control a reference line. Now remember, you have to snap and give it a hinge point. So we have to lock this down to this point in the center. Otherwise, it'll go all over the place. So let's flex this guy again. Let's give it another, uh, let's say 135. Okay. So basically, that's how you uh, use a reference line. It's very, very simple, but remember, it does not act like um, a reference plane. Reference planes, they cannot be hinged, and they also, they can't have any curvature involved, because it'll just go all over the place, because you're dealing with an infinite uh, plane. Okay, so let's change this length here. Let's say 25 ply. Okay, and there's the reference line, 25, and we want to change the angle here to, let's say, 45. So, practice the reference line. We'll go, we'll, we'll learn a little more about this, but uh, this is not uh, curvature. But you'll use this, so when we move on to learning about curvature, uh, we'll use reference lines a lot. So anyway, um, this is part nine, I think, of the uh, families. I hope you enjoyed this video, and like I said, very simple um, reference lines as opposed to reference planes. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Bye.